Hey, I'm just Vosco, and we're back in Brittlewood Banished, and things are still fairly okay. Fairly okay. We've got this built now. We've got the town square built. We do need to get rid of these. And I'm thinking we probably need quite a large storage area. So if we go to warehouses, uh, we've got a few things in here. Specialized markets. What does that do? Used to provide large location areas for citizens to collect edible food only. Okay. Can we actually make some... Ah, oh, see, that looks like a market. That's quite, quite nice. Oh, we've got a few of these. There's different stalls. Again, these would be ideal for our town centre. Well, I've put all the floor down now, so that's making things more difficult. Edible market, raw materials. Oh, can we store raw materials? So what raw, mat raw materials is that? Um, wait there. Market that only sells raw materials. Wood, materials, iron. Supplies, goods. They're not very pretty buildings, though. Uh, building materials. And then we've got this. Oh, that's pretty. So we've got a grocery. Grocery 2. Another gross. Okay, so they're different roof types. So we've got a grocery we could put in. Which again might be useful. I'm just thinking warehouse-wise. A lot of these look like barns. And I don't particularly want a barn. But I was looking at these. Which are tiny, thin sort of buildings. But I'm thinking. I'm thinking they'd go very... Wait. I was going to say... Why is that path not going in the way? I'm thinking they'd go really nicely here. If we could change the colour, that would be great, but we can't. So what if... What if we put... One... Two... Two of those... And then we've got this middle one, which gives us a gateway. Which, again, I think... If we can put a path through there, that would be ideal. Three... And then we'll go back to these, and we'll go... Four... Five... That seems good to me. And then we can go to the path. We'll press play so they can get on building it. Then we can have like a little bit of a layback area here. And then here we can have a path coming through to this back area. Which again makes a little bit of sense to me. So if I do that here as well. Just so it fills that in. We can also go ahead and get some of these crates just to make it feel... Uh, nice and used. What's running low? Stone and logs. Okay, so we got to look at that at some point. Can we rotate you round? Yes. And then I don't want that one. Give me a different type. Give me some crates. Crates would work. That would work nicely. We'll put those there. And then we'll put that one there. So then if I do that, we can get rid of these then, right? So if I go get rid of you, get rid of you. Lovely. So that's nice. Stone, we could probably... How many labourers have we got? We've got quite a few. Let's add two more people to the stone quarry. So they can get that going. And I love the fact that once that's empty, we can change that into a village resort. Or a fishing hatchery. A fish hatchery. I think that's brilliant. Um, iron, did it say? Iron's low, so may... we got four people mining iron. Maybe I'll put one more in there. Just one more. That should be fine. Your... Oh, logs. It was logs. Ignore me. You come back out of there. Yeah, you're not needed. We need logs. So we got these two over here. We probably want to get some logs being made somewhere else. I'm thinking... Do I, or can I put more people in here? Can I put more people working on these? What if I put two on? Will that help? That's two people in there. One person in there. Logs are really taking a pounding right now. And I'm sure this guy produces logs. Cut. I'm going to put cut on as well. So not only do you plant the trees, once they get too old, you can cut them down. That seems good to me. 
So hopefully that will sort our log situation out. We don't have any logs at the time being at all, which is a bit concerning. A little bit. That's going to make building a lot harder. I was definitely going for building it in this episode. So I'm going to put a second builder in. And then we're probably, probably going to deforest an area. I'm thinking up here because we're going to be putting more, we're going to be putting more fields than that in. So that would probably be a good idea. So we might as well take all resources from there. That's what I'm thinking. You go ahead and do that. We could do with some more laborers. We've got 13 kids, so a school might be a good idea. And I was looking at a town... I was also looking at a town hall for here. So if we go to town halls, there's, they're, they're not exactly... That's the basic one, which I think is probably my favourite. That one's a bit plain. That one's a bit ugly. That doesn't really fit. There was a village one somewhere. That one, I think it was. Which might work. It sort of fits in with the look we're going for. So I am tempted. What does that need? A lot of materials. Well, I am tempted to put that in. Would that be a good place to put it? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, do you know what? We sh maybe. I'm, I'm considering. Schools. Let's have a look at schools. So we've got a little one there. No. I just want one that fits into the city centre, really, which goes with it. That's definitely not it. These are tiny. Absolute. We could have a church, maybe. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Why is, it Why is it raised up? I have no idea. But that's an option. That one's a bit small again. I was hoping for... Quite a pretty looking school. Again, that doesn't fit. Nor does that. That does. That actually fits quite nicely. And I'm, I like the idea of the school being on the main square. So maybe if we think about this as a square, we could do a, sur a, a corner building here with the school next to it. Sort of there. That seems like a good option. So... Another thing I'm going to tell them to do is remove these buildings here. Is that? That's not remove building. Remove those two there. We also want to remove that as well. Lovely. And that's sort of clearing out this area. These also need removing at some point. They're all full. All of them are full. Aha. There we go. Our warehouses are going up. I'm loving it. Okay, so now these should be able to empty into there, right? Because those warehouses store all of this, as far as I know. That's what I'm thinking. Although there's nothing in there at the time being. Which concerns me a little. Why are you not storing stock in there? Are these full? Well, they're getting there. But there's still nothing in these warehouses. Did I just build those for no reason? Oh, logs had gone up. We're up to 90 logs now, which is really nice. That's definitely going to help. I would like an inside area we can store this sort of thing. Is that something we do? I know they do warehouses. But a warehouse is odd though, right? That's just... Is it? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's quite nice. That's very nice. Provides a large amount of storage for all stockpiled items. Yeah, but does this warehouse act like this warehouse? Where we can put stuff in. But then it sort of sits in there. Is that right? I don't know how this works, really. I just want a building that they automatically put things in and take things out of like they do with the stockpile. That's a... Oh, see, these might be okay. Because we could build these up behind here. So it looks a bit more in sort of a reason for this being here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what these do. Stone storage. Okay, I'm going to go stone storage there. We're going to go log storage there. 
Then we can go fuel storage. That one can possibly sit there. I feel like that's a nice idea. Then we want to add some stone floor in, in here. Like that. I wish I had a click and drag that I could do this in one big square. But we have to do it in line, so that's fine. And then back here behind the houses. Because we do have domesticated animals now. I'm almost sure we've got some. Let's click on our records place. Four domesticated animals. So we could have some chicken coops around here or something. Which would add to the food. Not that we're overly worried about food at the moment. What do I want to put in here? I don't want a cow. Can we have a chicken coop? See, that would fit really well. Uh, uses and raised breeds chicken for meat and eggs. That would actually fit in there really nicely. Let's do that. We're going to put you in. We're going to fill this area in with stone flooring. And that area is sort of used then. There's a reason to go through here. Are you guys... Oh, they are storing things. They do store what we want them to. Which is perfect. Okay, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Let's get these little bits of floor that's missing. Like so. Just so we know where we're going up to and from. And I'm going to fill in what I can with stone. So this is going to be stone, right? And this. I would like some market stalls. But at the moment, I haven't actually figured out how I'm going to do that. You can go to there. That fishing dock is probably going to move at some point. Stone-wise, how are we doing? We've only got 20 stone. We do have a lot of labourers at the moment, though. So that's nice. Do we have any traders in? Not, no. Currently, I would like some potato seeds, if I'm honest. So let's have a look how many vegetables we've still got in stock. Vegetables, where are you? There. Uh, 5,000. So I'm going to up this, I think. I'm going to up how many vegetables are in here. We're going to up it to 5 thousand and then if someone comes along with potato seeds that's really going to help us really going to help us because we can just buy them because potato is like a basic vegetable right that we live on this is doing very well over here as well excellent early spring wait have these been sat here all winter is that what's going on i don't know I have no idea. Goat-wise, we're up to 13. So we are going to start slaughtering goats. Which sounds awful, but it's needed. Bison, we've got three, apparently. Oh, no, there is three. There is three trade bison. Ooh, okay. You're still producing stuff. This is good. Honey's being produced. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I think the reason this is telling me it's full is because, uh, if you've commented on the previous video, I, I sort of record these in batches of three, so it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's the fact that I haven't seen those comments yet because they don't exist at the point of recording this. Um, I'm thinking this is because more people want to go to church and it's just not big enough to house the amount of people we need. So again, that's something else we could consider over this way in the city centre. A big church. Smack bang in the middle. Which again would make a bit of sense. Let's have a look at churches. Have we got any nice ones? If I remember correctly. there are. See that is stunning that church. That is absolutely beautiful. 400 people can go to this church. But it takes not too much resources right? 100 logs 280 stone and is that 60 iron that's not too bad and it is absolutely beautiful i would like it here i want a door on this end if that makes sense maybe we just need a very specific area for it as we expand over this way we might put the church in what's not happy our chicken coop is not happy. So we're going to put someone in there. That doesn't need domesticated animals. So why am I producing domesticated animals is my question. 
Greenhouse. No. We're okay. Oh, we've got a trader. What are you bringing me? Anything good? Seal meat. Okay. Smoked cheese and spiced pumpkin. No, you're good, sir. You can carry on on your way. None of that tickles my fancy. I want to know what I use domesticated animals for. Small animal pen produces... Is it these? Don't know. Animal shed. Sheep shed gives you wool. Which is good, because we could probably do with cloven. I've been a I've sort of neglected cloven in all fairness. That's not the one where's the one we just had? Animal shed. Sheep shed. That one. Wait, we just had a big sheep shed. Wait, wait, F? No? Wait, wait, wait. That gives me wool. I'm sure I just had a bigger version. Stone. Was it that one, maybe? Animal shed. What does that give me? Gives you eggs, milk. No, we want, we want sheep. So we can have wool. So this might actually fit in quite nicely over here at this new farm. So what if we just plop you there? It's almost like you were designed to go around that corner. I'm happy with that. That's good. You're missing what? Barley. Yeah, we could probably do with another barley field. I see what you're saying. Which this farm's going to be here. So we could do another field here. That would work if we sort of go, well, this fence, for example, is going to go. Let's get that in for now. That fence there, that fence there. And we want it to rotate round. It doesn't sit behind that greenhouse very well, but you sort of get the idea. So this is going to come up to here. Like that. And I think that's right. And then you're going to come down this way. And this farm sort of territory is laid out now. I'm tempted to leave a little area for a path to come through. But we can do that. These are really easy to remove, just like that. So we can do that at a later point. Then here we could have a field. He says, give me a field, please. Thank you. And that, oh, oh, why is that part of the greenhouse then? I don't know. We can leave a gap, though. We'll just leave a gap there like that. And then we'll put this in as a barley field. That seems okay to me. Can I put a path in there? No. Okay. I am going to get rid of these, though. I feel like that fence is not needed. Like so. What if we actually... Actually, let's go back to fencing. There was a hedge, right? What if we just put a hedge in there? Oh, that's got a stone base. I don't want a stone base. I just want a hedge. Just a nice hedge. <laughs> what about that one? Oh, you're very pretty. You don't fit, though. Oh, you do there. Okay. Do you have to have flowers on you? I feel like that's a bit much with the flowers. Oh, you can't go there anyway. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. For some reason, the greenhouse needs space behind it. That got emptied really quick. Wait, wait, wait. What speed are we on? Um, where am I going? Here. Times five. Is that all? That just seemed to happen really quickly. So we want that to be barley. We want to add another farmer in. Excellent. Our food storage is full, apparently. Do you know what? I'm okay. How much food have we got? A lot. What if I change that to 20,000? That should help. I'd rather have more food than not enough food. So you're doing very well. You're actually being used. These guys are slow. Oh, what is that? Building supplies. Oh, I see. You're just going to throw a curveball at me. What is a building supply? I don't know. But I do know we can definitely have some houses over here. We'll have a corner house. 
which is that one. Is this the one? It is that, uh, yeah. So if we have the one with the balcony, you'll go in there. You'll go in. I don't like you there. So do you know what? We'll get this one in. Like, can we change it? No, you're, you're sort of stuck like that. Ground, uh, yeah, the corner ones don't have as many options as the, the straight ones, which is a little anno annoying. But I feel like you should go there, and then we can bring the path down this way. Just like that. That, that seems like a good idea. And that sort of leads into our original path. And it will sort of wall this area in. And then we could have a church here. Oh, that's quite a nice idea. That's, yes, let's do that. So I want this one. I want a ground floor one. Uh, which way does ground, yeah, that's fine. We're going to go, maybe that one? I quite like that one with the bay window. Where do I want the bay, oh, that one with a porch? Do you know what, let's have a porch. We haven't had a porch in a while, if ever. And a balcony on top, maybe. Well, that one's nice. Oh, actually, I like that one with the three the three eaves on top there. We've probably used that, have we? No, we haven't. Okay. And that just fills in that area really nicely. And then that can lead into a church, which I definitely think we, we want to supply our people with a church. Our little village church is nowhere near big enough for the amount of people we've got. This now can be destroyed, right? We can get rid of this. Oh, no, we can't because I was relying on these buildings, but they need building supplies and I don't know how to use that. Gathered before construction can begin. Okay, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to see what building supplies are. Okay, I think I found it. Uh, here, building supplies. Oh, it's not a very pretty building. Well, it is a pretty building for what it is. But I don't particularly want it anywhere here. Hmm, I'm tempted to put you over here. Oh, there would be really good by the quarry. That seems like a great little location for you. Or maybe down the front here. Again, I'd quite happily put you there. There? You're going to fit there. Do you know what? I'm going to go there. I feel like that's a good idea. And that's good timing, actually, because someone's just come in to trade. Let's grab some of this. So you can now come down here. And you can come down here. So we're slowly expanding our brick paving. Or stone paving. We have no stone whatsoever. What are you trading, sir? Donuts. What? Why have you got donuts, rabbit meat, and tulips? Uh, I'm good, thank you. On your way. We haven't seemed to have anyone come here for a... Oh, not the boat. To our seed one for a very long time. I've got the vegetables waiting. They just don't want to trade with me. So, are you building supplies? Is that easy? I can't even click on it. Oh, you're going to need lumber. Do we have lumber? Let's have a look. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Yeah, we got 22. How many do we actually need? 60. Oh, no, wait. There's already 60 there. They've got the right amount. Okay, that's good. That's good. Which hopefully means we can do these storage areas around here. Stone's an issue. I definitely think we need more people mining stones. So let's go two more people in there. Yeah, two more would do fine for the time being. I'm going to let it run on a little bit so we can get some stone. We can get some of these buildings built. The town is definitely looking different straight away. We're going to have to cut all this back. Cut this out. That one actually can go probably. That. I said I'm going to let it run on for a little bit and I get distracted. Remove structure. Yes. Remove it. Goodbye structure. That can all go into our new massive warehouses, which are all sat here empty. Ish. Empty-ish. I like that. I think that's lovely so you can walk through into this back area. So we've got another seed salesman. Finally. It's took him ages. Uh, I'm tempted tobacco leaf seeds. 
Hmm. We could give our, uh, our our villagers something to smoke. But I actually was sort of sort of leaning towards carrot seeds. That seems a nice basic item that you could grow. So I'm gonna go with those. We want 2,500. Do you know what? We can do that. 2,500. Trade. And we're going to dismiss you. So now we've got carrots we can grow. Buildings are going extremely slowly in a minute because we are having issues with stone. And now tools we're going to have issues with. Why? What are you missing? I don't... Is it literally iron you're missing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. That building looks amazing though. Look at that. Lovely. Do you know what? I really like that. That's that's looking like it's going to be a nice start to the city. Um, okay, okay. What do we want to do? We want to get some carrots in. I think we want to get some vegetables in as well, if I'm honest. Because we can sell the vegetable. We can use those for trading for seeds. They may not do food, but what if we put a path here and here? We'll have a sort of a wider path there. Then we can grab one of these and you, sir, can go in there and you can just grow vegetables. And then we'll have carrots there and... Oh, wait, how big were you? You were... You were like 17 by 13 is what I'm thinking. If I go 17 by 13, something like that, that's good with me. And then we can get a path up the middle. Like that. So again, really heavily going into farming. Uh, our goats are ready. Ex our sheep even. So we can get one person on there. And that's at least going to produce some wool. Because I haven't even considered clothing. All this time, our people have not been getting clothing. Church again, over full. But that's fine. <laughs> we can live with that. It's the tool situation we got here. Um, let's say we put another three people mining in here. That should, surely that should up the amount of iron that's going to come out of there. It has to. We've almost doubled the amount of people mining for iron. And the issue is, now their tools are starting to run out, that makes everything slower. It's going to make mining for stone slower, mining for this slower. I've put high priority on this building. And it is being built. It's got two more stone it needs. And then we, we will have that building, which hopefully will allow us to do this bit. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this enclosed, if I'm honest. I know we've wasted a lot of stone doing flooring. But you need flooring in the city centre. You just do. Our tool situation seems to have, um, let's just say, got worse. 36 people without the tools they need. And our, our, our smelters and blacksmiths are working away down here, but it's just not enough. But then we don't have an over large amount of iron either. Iron ore. And there's a lot of people working down there. So that definitely needs looking at. This building is built though. And I thought it was going to be easy. Supply it with something. It would produce them. Uh -huh. There is a whole list of things. Wait, I'm going to pause it. There's a whole list of things we can supply this with. 12 bricks, 1 joist, 20 logs. Joist? How do I make a joist? 12 bricks, 1 joist, 5 stone. 12 bricks, 1 copper pipe. There is so many different ones. Hmm. So ultimately we need to... Wait, we're going to shut you down a minute. Ultimately we need to make bricks. And joists. Can you make a joist? Lumber, lumber. No, you don't make joists. Okay, something must make joists. Construction. Glass works. Glass works. Shipyard. Lumber cutter. What does a lumber cutter... Make our oh, cutting lumber, I suppose. Sawmill is what we've got. That doesn't make joists. Homeware supplier. Um, craftables. No, that doesn't look like it either. Glass works. Kiln. Now, this is where bricks are made, right? 
Oh, there's so much we haven't done yet. <laughs> so much. So first we're going to need a clay pit, I'm guessing. Which will be here. Um, quarries and stone. Renewable resources. Mines, quarries and other production. Copper ore mine. We don't want copper yet, right? Tin. Oh, there's so many different ones. What's this? Salt works. Precious mine. Okay. That's jade, jade quarry. Oh, we can have a quarry for jade. Village salt mine. Placer mine. Gold and silver. Marble quarry. Again, this, this all seems far too, too advanced for us, really. I'm not looking at getting gold. I'm just looking at setting up the basics. Uh, again, we could... These are cheaty. These, these renewable resources. But because I want to build the city, I'm tempted to put some of these in. It is so cheaty. <laughs> Let's just... Wait, we've got a, a, a hunter over here, right? What if we just put... What if we just put this over here for the time being? I don't like doing it. But that might help out with the iron situation. It might. Okay, I'm going to make this high priority. And then once we've sorted out how we're actually going to survive with iron, we can get rid of that. But that's that for the time being. Now I have to fix, sort of get bricks underway and joists and things like that. So I've been looking through here. Uh, building for your tool productions. Ooh. Toolsmith. Mine. Oh, I'm getting distracted. That's not all I want. Let's go into here. This is where my houses come from. Now, they have different things. They also have a clay pit, which is what we want. We want to make clay. And I think clay would be sort of collected down by the river, do we think? That's sort of where we would be finding clay. I'm going to say yes. So if I do that there. No, there. Yeah, see, and that looks like it's part of the river. Oh, I like that. And then you, sir, you can come down here. And that's the edge of it, right? Where do you come up to? You come up to there. And then you can just go on to there. Perfect. So this, again, is priority, people. We want to get the clay being made. Like that. And then once we've got clay, we can turn that into bricks. And ultimately... Let's have a look. Bricks, 30 bricks, 18 lumber. We could probably do that one. That is a lot of brick production, but we'll see how it goes. What are you offering, sir? Silk cocoons, trade deer, fine furniture, compost. Uh, no, I'm good at the moment, thank you. On your way. <laughs> yes, okay. How are we doing tool, tool wise? 34 people still missing tools. I just don't understand. Like, we're not producing enough iron. It's just not happening. Uh, domesticated animals. We got loads. We may have to set up a second blacksmith in place. Maybe in the village. Because the village doesn't produce its own tools yet. That might not be a bad idea. We do have a village candle maker that I've put in. Just because they use beeswax. And we should have plenty of beeswax. Because we've been producing honey for quite a long time now. Look at the wood they've got over here. So much wood. So yeah, maybe we'll set up some tools over here. What do you need to build? Just logs. Do you know what? We've got tons of logs here. A million logs. That should be easy to set up. So we have a few more fields ready. So this one was going to be vegetables, right? We were going to grow vegetables so we could trade them. So we need to add another farmer. We need to add another three farmers. That's going to take all our labourers. I know, but we want carrots in that one and we want carrots in that one. And you don't have... Ooh, we don't have anyone. Oh, there we do. We do. So we're down to one labourer. I'm going to take the builders down to one. I just am. We've got clay being produced, which is nice. That's good. That's very good. Uh, the winter's come and all our crops are dying, which is a bit annoying. I feel like we need more farmers on each of these. What if I do that and say, don't pick it up, just harvest it? 
I, I feel that's probably a better idea. Then the food can just sit there in baskets. It can sit there and eventually get picked up. Tools is still awful. Just terrible. <laughs> really bad. But they are working flat out. I don't even know. Oh, you've got no iron. It is iron. Iron's an issue. But we do have our iron maker up here now. Our little cheaty iron man. He has planted it. We should start seeing iron appear, he says, in this area. Here we go, iron shack. This person will go around planting the iron and then collecting it once it's grown. So hopefully that will help situations out a little bit. There is a load of iron there we could gather. Wait, go gather... Oh wow, there's tons of iron there. Go gather that. We need it. We need tools. I really want to expand my building. <laughs> this is all going to go, right? So this is all going to go. This building is now complete over here. So we've got another family in there, which is good. The more people we can turn into workers, the better. These buildings are still waiting for that one, that one building supply. But we don't have bricks going, so we definitely need to get bricks underway. Is that in the same thing? Right, here was where I got the clay pit from, right? Do you make bricks? You've got a kiln. Yes, there is a kiln. And I'm guessing we should put that in the village, because that's where the clay is. It would just make a bit of sense to put it over here. Maybe. Is it going to look a bit odd? Possibly. Maybe smack bang in the middle of the village, it would look more odd. Maybe just on the outskirts here. Just sort of... Just here, next to, <laughs> next to the, the, the bison. I'm sure they won't mind. I'm sure they won't. That'll be perfectly fine. That means we're going to be getting bricks underway. So I feel like this should, again, should be priority. And for no, no reason apart from I want those storage buildings to be built here. To enclose this little courtyard area. That's the only reason. These buildings, again, have got so much space in them. They're doing fine. I'm happy with that. I might even put a couple more little decorative pieces around here. So you're, you're ghosty, right? So you can go on a path, which is what we want. We'll just put some there and a couple over here like that. Oh, oh, can we, can we rotate you around so you're closer? We can't, can we? Okay, what if we do that? That's nice. Okay. Happy. Have we got any iron yet, people? I would prefer an abundance. Why is there clay over here? Someone has walked all the way from the village with the clay. Does that mean this... Is, oh, it is full. It's extremely full. Okay, can we put a tiny little storage area in? Can we just put a little stockpile? Just a little one. Like that. Oh, we could. We could put a little strip here. Just a tiny little strip of stockpile. Why not? Actually, we could probably... Ooh. We could go there and then there. And we'll have a little stockpile area behind the kiln. We do have a trader in. Are you going to bring me something good, Mr. Trader? Cotton, linen, clothes. Again, that's probably important. We don't have any fodder at the mini in storage because it's all in here which is a bit of a downside and the boats just come in there as well gathering baskets beeswax trade llama there's only one though what am i going to do with one llama unless it's pregnant it's no good to me what are you bringing me tell me you've got potatoes cotton seeds cabbage seeds cherry seeds Pears, rice, olive. No, no potatoes. We're going to dismiss you. I want potatoes. Away with both of you. Come back with potatoes. Uh, yeah, our tool situation is definitely not getting better. Although iron is. We've got iron ore now. Maybe there's a way of smelting a larger amount. There's iron ore in there as well. How much iron ore do we have? Let's have a look-see. Iron ore 96. Which, if we could smelt that down. If we... Let's have a look. Let's see. Smelting. 
See, this is industrial, right? That building is brilliant. A uh, fuel refinery takes burnable natural resources and converts into a hotter, more desirable form for industry smelters. Do we have an industry smelter? I don't understand. Is that good? Wait. Burns hotter, long... Oh, hotter, hotter and longer. Ooh, that would be quite good. Again, it would fit over here in our industry area. But, I'm not entirely sure we've got a smelter that can use it. Where would I find smelters? Here. Iron kiln. Humble iron kiln smelts will slowly melt iron. Slowly. I don't want slowly. Port Royal Furnace. No. Blast Furnace. High temperature and large airflow. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. I, th I, I don't know what colour I like. I quite like that colour. What do we need to build that? A lot of materials. Foundry. Ooh, can we change the colour of you? No, we can't. What does that do? Foundry is a working area where you can smelt everything. Everything, it says. Um, iron, copper, silver, or gold. Employment, one to two blacksmiths. Tips, the foundry is the way to go to smelt everything in the game. And also is more efficient than the simple blacksmith building. Okay. More efficient sounds good. What's this one? That's just a little smelter. See, so this is definitely something we should consider. I don't particularly like the brick colour. But it is more efficient. So that's what it says. Um, is this choke, charcoal, charcoal. I'm tempted to use this one. I do like this as a building. I feel like that really does say industrial foundry creates iron from iron ore also creates tin copper bronze and pewter can make cannons joists oh we need joists Ooh, slightly more efficient than the forge okay okay what does that look like oh okay so that sits on the water that's probably good. Which means I could put it on the river. That might be a good spot for it. How much land does it need? Quite a bit from the looks of it. I want it to look like it's actually working. No, no. Okay, it's being finicky where it wants to go. It will go there, but that looks a bit odd. I want a flat bit of river. Here would be ideal. Ooh. Actually, that would probably be great. And it would fit there. I wish I could make the river a bit wider, if I'm honest. It's almost like the village is going a bit industrial. Which sort of doesn't... Wait, it did fit. It did. There. Which doesn't really fit the village. But I'm going for it. We're going to pull it in. So this will this will smelt down. Wait, I forgot what it does. It's a foundry. That's what it is, right? Can we change the material? I didn't even check. No, we can't. Creates iron from iron ore. That's exactly what we're having issues with at the moment. So, yes, yes, I want you to create iron from iron ore. Just like that. We'll put the path in. Uh, there. Okay, that's connected. Then you need to come straight across there. And then ultimately, this could go up to there. And we could probably put another house in here. Where all these flowers are. So the village is sort of becoming more of a tiny little town than a village. There's not many houses, but there's a lot going on. Finally, someone has arrived with some potato seeds. I want those. What's that? 3,500. You know what? We can do that. 3,500 trade. Okay, that's good. We don't actually need them. I just want them. 
So with the potatoes, we can then actually set up one of our soup kitchens, right? Because if I have a look, cabbage and potato, was it? Um, beef, onion, bean and pepper plus firewood, potato and onion. Cabbage, potato. Yes, we could. We could have soup being produced. They're not just eating basic food. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, candle maker. I would like you to make candles. Three to four candles. One to two ear candles. What's the difference? Don't know. Uh, yeah, so they're not going to be eating basic food. No, 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 no. They are going to be having soup. Soup, soup, soup. We should definitely have some goat meat now as well, I'd imagine. I'd imagine that's the thing. Our kiln is done, so we can get some bricks on the go. Excellent. Um, you make bricks from clay and firewood. And we can make roof tiles as well, but at the minute we're interested in bricks. We want the bricks. These little storage areas look ridiculous. I should have done them all in one piece, especially the, these two here. But do you know what? I can live with it. I can live with it. How are we doing over here with our foundry? You're waiting on lumber and stone. Yeah, you're just waiting for building materials, basically. I've started the, the sawmill back up, so they are producing lumber, which means we might see a hit on our log supply, but that's okay. We can live with that. This I'm tempted to sh get rid of, but I am waiting for these buildings to happen. Food is just mad. We've got so much food. And I really want to finish off this path, but that means it's going to take up my stone supply and I don't... Oh, see, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm saying I don't want to, and then I'm doing it as I'm saying that. <laughs> I do very much enjoy the fact that this has got an interior. Look at that. Unnecessary, because I'm, I'm guessing once the building's made, you're not going to see inside. But that is lovely. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Can't see inside, but the fact it's got an interior makes me very happy. This is just screaming out for a house. It it really is. Let's do that. Let's go and get a row house. Um, can we have a big one? Wait, wait, wait. We can have a taller one, right? We can. We can have a two-story one. Do I want a two-story? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. Can we fit... What's that? Two... Four, no, that's five, so that's no good. But we can this way. So if I go there, and then we go a middle one, and we want that one with the eaves on, I think, like so. And then we want this end one here, just like that. That will fill in that area nicely. Now, do these need stone? They do need stone. Why, why do I keep building things that require stone? This is underway. So I'm tempted to put two more people in here. That's what I'm tempted to do, and that is going to produce... Uh, oh, we could do all sorts of things. Iron from iron ore and furnace fuel. Oh, no. We need furnace fuel, which we don't have. It's apparently working. I'm not sure how it's working, but apparently it is. Hmm, furnace fuel. Let's go to here. We want to go to that one. We want to go to fuel. And we want to go to Fuel Refinery, which I really like this building. I think that's going to look perfect there, actually. If we put you in there like that, then we can grab some, again, stone. I want stone here, like that. Come on, go there. There we go. And then you can continue there. And then you can come to there. How about that? That is a lot of stone needed. But it should be okay. Lumber I've shut down because we seem to have a lot of it. And we've got three pieces of iron in there. It's not helping our tool production though. I do think we need to check out what we've got iron wise. So iron ore. Where, where am I looking? Iron tools we got two. So we do have two spare tools which is okay. Um, iron ore, we've got 238. Yeah, but what about iron? Just pieces of iron. There it is, 30. So we've got 30 of those. So maybe another blacksmith is the answer. Uh, stone is low and stone is low. Okay, I'm guessing stone is low. 
maybe a little blacksmith over here in the village because they are producing iron for themselves so i'm thinking do we have a little blacksmith what are you city blacksmith do i want city blacksmith does fit quite nicely there um oh you're a tiny little blacksmith oh no you're smelter okay wait 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 i do like this one if i'm honest i like this and it, it just reminds me of a little village so how about we put you somewhere here we'll just plop you there you can start making tools which will take advantage of this which is not working because it has no fuel which is a shame furnace fuel i'm working on it that one can do logs bronze plus log why can't i do iron plus log cannon cannon joists what do you need 20 iron and six coal neither of which do we have hmm okay we need that fuel everything needs something i am growing potatoes now i think i've changed this one into a potato field so we should start seeing potatoes come from that. The farming area is looking lovely. I really quite like this little village here. Especially once we spread over to the other side. Maybe a bridge across isn't a bad idea. There is a lot of stone and iron across there. Where would we put a bridge? Maybe here? Maybe here would be a good bridge. Let's see if we can do that. So if I go to this. Bridge. Okay. Stone bridge. I don't want a stone bridge. It's going to cost me too much money. I don't know what any of these look like. That's my issue. A stone and wood bridge. Do you know what? Let's go with that. What if we put you across there? Just like that. You may not get built for a while. But you're, you're there ready. You're there ready to cross over. Collect all those beautiful resources. Because there is a lot over there. A lot. And ultimately, that's what we need. We need to get our tools going. That is our biggest downfall at the moment. But I do think, I do think we can start producing building supplies. So if I can get you one person. No, just one. Just one person slowly making building supplies. I think that's a good idea. Because I presume we have some bricks somewhere now. <laughs> that, that poor little uh, storage zone is almost the only thing that remains from our original build when we first started off so you're the kiln should be making bricks right bricks i'm not seeing bricks anywhere though have i done something wrong bricks and firewood no you're working oh you're not working why are you not working materials required to perform why have you not got firewood is that what we're saying you're missing firewood. But we've got 4,950 in stock. Is it just because you've got a radius and you can't go out of that? That might be an issue. We can make a little... If I'm correct, there was a tiny little woodcutter one. Uh, which one was it? See, that's quite good. That's far too big. I just want a little one that's going to fit in here. There's a little shed. Ah, oh, these maybe. Oh no, that's far too big again. Um, can we have a pretty... Ah, oh, that one. I quite like that one with the pile of wood there. And that one's too big again. Yeah, we'll go with the pile of wood. Let's do that. Where do I want to place you? Hmm, you're not going to fit in there. Nor there. You could fit here. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, do that. I think that's a good location for you. I am going to call the episode an end there because this is going to get far too long. Hopefully by the next episode, we're going to we're going to have tools under control and we can really start expanding the city center. Because it, it, it's going a bit slower than I was hoping. Stone's an issue. But again, that bridge, I'm going to leave it running. I'm going to let that bridge build... We're going to be able to go over there, get some stone, possibly set up another quarry. That might be an idea as well. Because we are, we're just flying through stone right now. Flying. But uh, good news, our first potatoes have been uh, harvested, which is lovely. So now we can start our soup kitchen, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to do that before I end the episode. This is one of those games you could just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. 
We're going to put one person in there. You're going to make some soup. Maybe we'll put another person in this one. Can we do that? Cabbage and potato and firewood. Uh, I want two people and I want you working. What? Oh, wait. Do I have to put that? No, you're fine. You should be fine. There we go. Our soup kitchens are working. So now people can, in the winter, they can have a nice bowl of warming soup. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.